take off with the quarterbacks and we'll do some from under center and then we'll get back to the pistol. Anybody else? Any questions? Ter Terrell had said to us in the spring that he wasn't happy with how the team kind of went their separate ways before last season in the summer and kind of didn't work out together. I, I was wondering from your perspective, I know you guys aren't here working with them, but from what you know, did they make, were they together this summer a lot and kind of how the guys Sure, yeah, they were. And, um, you know, when you look back, uh, when you look back, which I don't like to look back, like I said, but uh, the greatest thing about uh, that three and nine team is they never separated throughout the season. And there were no cracks in the cuffs and there was no finger pointing going on. Um, so I think that they felt good that they had a real good summer. Um, you know, we were allowed to watch it more with uh, their running and their lifting and their, their uh, drill work. And um, I was pleased with them. And I think we got a good spirit going into the season. Now the key will be to stay consistent, you know, week by week. I know it's only been a couple days, but have any of the freshman safeties done anything that's kind of jumped out to you? Davon Ellison had a nice interception yesterday on a uh, corner route. And, um, you know, I think the other guys are feeling their way through it, you know, with the limited number of reps. What we're doing this year is we're kind of having a veteran practice and then following that up with uh, a little freshman work at the end. And I really like uh, the process with the freshmen um, because we get some one-on-one -on -one time with them as coaches and we can slow it down a little bit, gear it down a little bit. And uh, they've been good. It's a good group. Does that system kind of lead to fewer reps for some of the more experienced guys than last year's? Well, to some degree. You know, we'd split fields at times a little bit more last year. This year we're a little bit more condensed. The whole, the whole mindset now is uh, fewer reps, but more, um, you know, uh, more coaching, more technique work, not being in a hurried up type mindset. Gives the coaches the opportunity to coach, you know, those five or six seconds of the play harder. Um, kids should be able to go harder because the practices are a little bit different than they were. Um, and then by separating the young guys, it's not just the freshmen after practice, but, you know, kids that maybe are, are third or fourth on the depth chart. So, um, you know, we've done it in the past, other places I've been. It's a model that, uh, you know, Bill Walsh used when he was the, with the 49ers. Um, a 90 minute practice, but it's high, it's, it's, you know, it's high execution, you know, trying to be perfect on every play with, with uh, the techniques that, that are you know, put forth to match the scheme. And um, so far it's been working out well. So I, I like the look and I think it will also give us the opportunity to continue to work real hard in the weight room so we don't, uh, you know, so we don't lose the weight that, that was gained in, in the off season. So I was gonna ask, so do those, uh, the guys who meet in the first part of practice, what do they then do? Well, the, the they condition, they head in, they hit the cold tubs, any treatments they may have while we're working with the freshmen and the uh, third teamers. And then, uh, you know, it's short. It's only about 15 more, 20 more minutes after practice. What it does is it, uh, it kind of stair steps the locker room too. So not all the guys are fighting to get in that locker room and, you know, it gives you a little bit of separation. And I'm hopeful that it'll also create a, a sense of calm for the freshmen so they're not uh, overwhelmed, you know, because what happens so often as a coach, you're focused in on the guys and the two deep, getting them ready to play in the first game. What I've seen happen at the end of practice is our coaches take a deep breath and say, okay, let's go to work with these young guys. And uh, I like the process. I, I think it's a good one. And, uh, you know, with um, the number of big guys we have up front, we've had the opportunity to run more inside drill uh, where, you know, you're just really going kind of nine on seven uh, or really for us nine on nine, um, and not, you know, without the wide receivers. And then, then we'll do a half skelly as opposed to a full skelly which is kind of nice for the quarterbacks because now they're just reading, you know, that, that half field side, and it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit simpler. Um, and then you have the opportunity to play a little team too because of the number of kids we have up front. But uh, so far, so good. Are any of the freshmen working with that, that first group in the first practice yet? Uh, not a whole lot, but uh, we'll see how things go once we get the pads on. That, uh, that new practice setup, um, I know you, you mentioned it, it helps the freshmen come along, but part of it, I presume, is kind of health and giving guys kind of, or not it's really. It's everything and anything you can imagine. You know, having eight and a half months here, that's why I look at it, at least, um, to uh, reflect and uh, take a look at, you know, where we are, what we want to be, how we want to be it, um, and scrutinizing every rep we had, really, from the last six years, to be quite honest with you. I went back and looked at everything um, since I've been here, and, um, Felt like we, we 
have the opportunity to really uh, practice even smarter. Hopefully, that's the goal. And yes, uh, one of those spirits is to is to show up against Rhode Island and be as fresh and fast as we've ever been in an opener. Um, now, that's not to say that we're not working harder, because uh, the way I see it is, um, really the ones aren't getting. You know, they're getting fewer reps, but it's it's not to the degree that they're they're missing out. They're getting more quality. So it's it's a whole quality versus quantity type thing. And then the flip side of it is they can get into the weight room and work even harder because their reps uh, were scaled scaled back a little bit. So those are two you know two things uh, out of about a hundred. <laughs> Sorry, if this was asked, but uh, Tyron Perkins was the only quarterback. Uh, non-quarterback in a white jersey is that just a measure of him working back or? yeah exactly we just you know uh, had he had the uh, you know had the uh, surgery a year ago and uh, he looks good he's doing well just wanted to be aware you know where he was on the field and 